Today I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this sick chain reveal glowing effect inside of Premiere Pro. Let's go. My name is Devin Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today we're gonna to be teaching you guys how you can create this sick chain glowing reveal effect all built inside of Premiere Pro. Super easy, simple effect. All you'll be needing today is actually just one image and of course Premiere Pro. It's actually a really easy effect and also it looks really cool. Let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we're inside of Premiere Pro, the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag in an image that you have. It has to be a very high quality image. We're gonna be creating this effect all entirely from one still shot. So it's just the best way it works. So right here I have this photo of Ski. We're just gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit just so we can get like his face and everything. Now, before we do anything else, you're gonna have to go to Photoshop beta or a AI website and remove the change. You're gonna have to have a blank shot of the photo as well. So this is really easy nowadays, especially because we live in the age of AI. This right here is runwayml.com. It's a great website where you can just go ahead and use some AI tools to like remove backgrounds, replace backgrounds, and just do a bunch of cool stuff, uh, Photoshop and video wise using AI. It's completely free as well. You have three free projects on your first sign up account. And then after that there's a paid subscription personally i like to use adobe photoshop beta so right here i have a the photo ski right here and what we're first going to do is we're just going to go over here grab this like spot healing brush tool and then we're just going to go ahead and basically just color over the chain we're going to be making this big giant like triangle chain piece right here disappear so we're just going to color over that using the spot healing brush tool and boom pretty much gone there's a little couple of mess up errors over there but you can just go ahead and clean it up and there we go we have a pretty good blank image we're going to go ahead and hit file and export this as as a PNG. And now one last thing that you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to get a layer of just the chain only. So this is gonna basically be like our rotoscope layer, but that's why um, it's easier because we're using one still shot. So all you need is just one layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead, right click this photo. I basically undid all the spot healing brush. We're gonna create a duplicated layer so that we don't destructively edit and then turn off the bottom layer. Now let's grab our quick selection tool right here and then just color over his chain. So we're just gonna select only the chain area right here. And if it selects any other areas, you can just hold option or alt if you're on PC to remove those areas. I think it's really cool, especially because we're editing with the image and inside of Photoshop, it just has so much of a better selection tool than roto brushing and after effects. Once you're done selecting everything, you're just gonna go ahead and click this mask tool in the bottom right hand corner and you can see it just made everything else disappear. And all we're left with is the, the chain piece. Make sure you turn off your background layer so it's completely transparent and keep it in the exact same position so you don't have to reposition or scale anything inside of Premiere. Export this as a PNG and now let's go back inside of Premiere Pro. So now that we're back in Premiere, we're going to go ahead and drag on both of our layers. So I have right here the transparent version of the chain and then I also have this blank shot of ski. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the reveal animation. We're going to put the blank shot of ski without his chain on top of our original shot and then what we're going to do is we're just going to select both of these and then also we can put uh, the chain one over towards the end. We're going to select all three of these layers and right click them and we're going to click nest and you can name this whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to double click this nest and edit everything inside of this nested clip. Now the reason being so is so that we can add some camera shakes and some movement on top of the nested layer after we've already animated everything. It's just a really easy way of working and so you can create some better easier effects. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab this pen tool and we're just going to draw a very simple curved mask that helps us reveal the chain. So I'm gonna create this mask over the entire shot right here, just so that we don't have like that many image disparities. So boom, there we go. Now we have this nice mask around Ski. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and start that mask um, right here towards the top. And then we're just gonna animate it. So I'm going to go to the very beginning of my clip right here and create a position keyframe or a path, mask path keyframe. I'm gonna go down towards the couple frames after, maybe about 20 or 30 frames after, and then just drag this mask all the way down until it reveals his chain so just like that so now you can see if we play it out we have this nice like revealing effect and make sure you turn up the mask feather as well so that there's like less hard edges I don't know why but some reason it looks like the exported version from Photoshop is a little bit darker than the original layer you know I think there's just some disparities that might happen like that so if you want to go ahead and correct them you can just go ahead and turn down the exposure a little bit of the original image just so that there's less like of a color disparity it's pretty good so far I'm gonna go ahead and close 
close these keyframes in together so that we have a faster animation effect. Let's play that out. Boom. There you go. That looks kind of cool. Maybe even faster. The closer your keyframes are, the faster the effect. So now once we have our base layer animation, we're going to go ahead and drag on top of our blank masked out transparent chain effect. And we're going to be adding some glow and like just some cool effects to make the effect look smoother and just overall cooler. I'm going to go ahead and first go to my effects and search for the Lumetri color effect. Now, the reason why we're not using uh, just the Lumetri color tab is because we're going to be adding some keyframes to the, to the animation. So I'm going to first go ahead and hit the drop down on basic color correction and turn up the exposure like a crap ton, maybe about 1.9 so we can still see the chain somewhat. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this pen draw tool and I'm gonna draw a like 45 degree angle rectangle. And you're gonna see why we're gonna be doing this. It's a very specific shape and just make sure it's a little bit thin together. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn up that feather to about like, oh, let's do like 30, 30%, okay? Now this is gonna be the shine effect. I want the chain to like shine as it reveals. I'm gonna first start off with a keyframe of the mass path at the bottom bottom of the chain and then we're going to go a couple frames after and then we're going to move that entire mask up and you can see if we add, as we move it over the chain it looks like it's already like shining and making it look a lot more sparkly so now you can see when we play it out boom we have this nice like like cool shine effect honestly it looks just it looks pretty cool if you ask me i'm going to go ahead and adjust that so that it plays after the chain reveals so boom chain reveals and then there's like a little shine and the brighter and larger that you have the shine of course the more impactful and cooler it's gonna look. So if I turn up that exposure to around like four, you can see we have a really bright like shine and it looks pretty cool. I might even slow it down as well too. What we're now gonna do is we're gonna add like a cool glow more. What I'm gonna do is hold option or alt. I'm gonna duplicate that shine layer and then I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the Lumetri color effect cause we don't need it for it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this Lumetri color effect cause we don't need it. So by the way, this is this top layer. This is the new layer of the, uh, the the transparent chain. We can go ahead and right click it, label it. Um, I'm just gonna label it tan just so we can identify it. And this tan layer is gonna be our glow. Now to create a glow, we're actually not gonna be using the VR glow effect in Premiere Pro because I think that one's pretty stupid and it's just like ridiculously hard on the renderer. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go to our effects, we're gonna search for Gaussian blur. We're gonna drag the Gaussian blur to our transparent chain layer. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up the blurriness to like 25%. Uh, you can see we're kind of having this cool glow effect already. And then last but not least, change the blending mode to screen. And boom, that's your key to creating some dope glows inside of Premiere Pro without using glow, any glow effects. What we can do now is just add some keyframes on the opacity so that it just pops in and pops out. So go three frames in, create a keyframe, and then I'm gonna turn it down to zero and put the zero keyframe at the very beginning. So now you can see it's like a nice opacity in and let's just duplicate these effects hold option or alt to duplicate the 100 percent opacity keyframe three frames after that turn the opacity back down to zero boom there's like a nice little like glow and glow out it's pretty cool i might even drag these keyframes a little bit closer together so it's just a very brief effect one last thing that you can do to this effect to make it stand out even more is add a glow as the chain reveals this is a little bit extra so you don't have to do this step but i think it looks cool and it's also pretty easy to create so i'm gonna hold option or alt duplicate that gaussian blur chain layer that we just created and then i'm gonna delete all of these opacity keyframes right here so i'm just gonna make sure it's at 100 percent and let's actually turn up this blurriness to like 38 or 40 percent so that we have more of a glow and now what we're going to do watch this very very carefully drag this down to the very beginning of the, the clip as it reveals so what you're going to do first is you're going to grab your pen tool your free draw bezier pen tool and the opacity and draw a nice little like rectangle shape over the top layer of your chain right here so as it reveals we're going to be animating this i'm going to go about one frame ahead as when the the effect starts and we can cut the the mask to start there and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag that mask over directly over the very front of the chain as it reveals hit a keyframe at the mask path right there, go a couple frames after until it fully reveals itself and then just drag that mask path all the way down to the very bottom. So now you can see if we play this out, there is like a nice little glow effect that is uh, that is following the chain. And to make it stand out even more, you can change the blending mode from screen to linear dodge add. And that way it looks like really, really dope. It's like just like super bright at the ends as the chain is revealing. I'm gonna turn up the feather even more a little bit 
and boom, there you go. Now we have a dope looking chain reveal effect. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your original composition with the one with the nested clip that we just did all the effects inside the nested clip. So if you did the effects outside of a nested clip, just make sure you nest everything and then apply this transform effect to your nested layer. So go to your effects, search for transform and drag transform to your nested layer. And now let's go ahead and first, very, very important, unclick use composition shutter angle and turn up the shutter angle to around two, 30. It's like my sweet spot around for motion blur. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so that we're centered on the chain. Let's just position ourselves right there. And we're going to hit a keyframe on the position right here at the very beginning. Move the position down so that it follows the, the chain reveal. And then what we can even do is we can add some scale zoom in. Now, you're going to have to watch this part very carefully because it's very, very specific of, of how this is going to work, okay? So you can see we added some animation, but it's very static and it sucks. Let's be real. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some Bezier keyframes to make it like smoother. But because you have two keyframes on your position and scale, if your Bezier keyframes are off by just a little bit, it'll make the whole camera movement look really off and just weird. Hit the drop down on your position and scale keyframes right here. You can see the movement pattern is like up here and then it just drops to no movement at all. You're just gonna wanna drag in these anchor point handles like inward. So you're gonna drag it towards the middle, but the key is that you have to have the exact same anchor point movement with the scale as well. And now you can see if we play it out, we have a nice like smooth camera movement and we have a lot of motion blur in between, which I really mess with because it hides a lot of like the bad AI like heel brush tool. One last thing we're gonna do to just totally wrap this thing up is add some camera shakes. Now, shout out, we just dropped our new Shake It Up V2 pack on 11percent.net. It comes with 50 presets of camera shakes that you can just drag and drop. You can just import them into Premiere Pro, it saves you so much time. So what I'm gonna do to create this, they all work entirely off of adjustment layers. I'm going to drag an adjustment layer down for my project. I'm gonna trim it down to around like eight frames ish. And what I want is like a shake right after this thing reveals. So it's going to reveal boom. And then I want it to shake right here. So let's go ahead and add this adjustment layer right here. It's about four frames on each side. Let me trim it down like that. Go to our effects. We're going to search for shake it up. And you can see right here, we have this nice folder called shake it up V2. Hit the drop down it and boom, there's a bunch of crazy effects right here. All of these, by the way, are like crazy shake transitions and effects that you can just drag and drop onto adjustment layers creates insane looking camera shakes, super easy, it saves me so much time. I'm gonna drag a hit onto the adjustment layer. Let's drag this hit one with a flash. I think that looks pretty cool. And you can see now if we play this out, boom. <laughs> Look at that, that was insane. So there's camera movement and then it just like hits. So I might even drag this after and you can totally adjust the camera movement as well just by moving the adjustment layer, super easy to use. And last but not least, to just top it all off, I'm going to add a spin out transition. And lucky for us, we actually have a spin out transition effect as well. Drag another adjustment layer. Let's trim this one down to around like 14 frames, delete that adjustment layer. And now let's go ahead and add a spin transition. So I'm gonna search for a spin effect on my transitions. Here we go, spin 10 to 12 frames. And now you can see if we play this out, boom, shake and spin. That looks pretty crazy. We can change this to a new clip if we wanted, or we could just put another clip of Ski. It's gonna spin transition to this other photo of him smiling. I think that looks pretty cool. And now if you play that out, boom, we have a sick chain reveal effect and it spins all with a camera shake made from our Shake It Up V2 pack. Super easy to create. Like I always say, mess around with this. Don't copy this tutorial down to the nitty gritty details. Make this effect your own, make it unique. And with that, here's the final result. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any help or value from this video, please be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so really, it'd mean the world to me. And once again, if you're interested in copying that Shake It Up preset pack that we used to create some camera shake for the effect, you can check it out at 11percent.net. I'm actually serious, guys. This pack is absolutely insane. It saves me so much time. I use it a bunch, especially on my own projects, and it actually makes your video edits look really good. Like, I'm serious. I tell everybody, the key to fire edits is camera shake. Like, I don't care what effects you're doing. I don't care how cool you make it look, but if you have terrible camera shake, the effect is gonna look bad. So you might as well start with a great foundation and the Shake It Up V2 pack is a great start. I really poured a lot of time and effort into making a pack that's just really top tier quality, also affordable price for other editors. So if you wanna check it out, you can check it out at 11%.net along with the rest of our other preset packs there. We got title cards, LUTs, Chrome, CRT, paint overlays, and just a bunch more other stuff. So everything's linked below in the description. Leave a comment down below what tutorial you wanna see from us next and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.